cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zipali here, hailing from Dallas, Texas. And in this episode, we're going to have a little bit of reaction, some fun stuff here that uh, this soccer player known as Lionel Messi has owned in his entire life and that he owns more stuff than your entire life, according to this video. But one thing for sure is that Messi has already earned over $1 billion playing soccer. So soccer money hits different. Now, We've always talked about different ways for your child one day, or even for you watching this, how to make money in sports. Well, listen, soccer players make a ton of money and baseball players, I would say be number two, basketball players, number three, but there's so many different ways for these guys, not only to earn their money, but also to spend their money. So let's take a look at what Lionel Messi owns that costs more than your life. Lionel Messi spent over $600 million, million dollar cars, $10 million mansions, his own $200 million theme park. Here's 10 things Messi owns that cost more in your life. And first up, Messi can't just have a normal iPhone. His was completely customized. <laughs> Not only is his name, jersey number, and team logo etched onto the phone, yeah. the entire thing is covered in solid gold. gold. Just think, a normal iPhone XS costs around $1,000, yeah. but Messi's is worth no 21000 And that's literally the cheapest thing in this video. Damn, $21,000 $21, iPhone, seriously? Is the cell phone service any different? What happens when you drop it? I mean, does it, does a case chip? Does your phone chip? What happens if somebody steals your phone? $21,000 for an iPhone. Holy moly. Messi's jewelry. $25,000 AP. There you go. I'm a watch guy too. $25,000 Rolex. There you go. $100,000 Hublots and Pads. Come on. Messi's known to love exclusive watches. I'm a watch guy. But none guy, of those sure. compared to his rarest ones. With a price tag of $150,000. This special edition Messi watch is flooded with 141 carats of diamonds, rubies, and sapphires. Jacob and company. But even 150K ain't close to Messi's quarter million dollar masterpiece. This watch is covered in 100 yeah. pairs of diamonds. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, gold, man. And it's one of the only watches Green in the Green is my color for time, sure. Date, and what? city you're in. What? Messi's most expensive watch is one that not even money can buy. Right after he set one of football's most legendary records, winning his seventh Ballon d'Or, Purnell watches decide to make Messi something one of one. This is a rose gold Purnell Ballon d'Or oh 2021, my gosh. and Messi's the only person me? on the planet to <laughs> own the original. The watch became so popular, That's Purnell awesome. eventually made eight replica versions and priced them at $350,000 each. A piece. But since Messi's watch is one of a kind, it's worth more than all of those watches combined. combined I would say, yep. And $2.8 million is still nothing Holy compared moly. to the weirdest $5 million purchase I've ever seen. By the way, man, I, uh, I remember my first watch. It was given to me by... My mentor, CEO, founder, PHP agency, and host of Valley Tim and Patrick, but David, we had a sales goal that nobody ever hit in our entire company. And next thing you know, man, bam, he pulls out a presidential Rolex that he awarded my wife and I. And uh, my wife wears a Rolex. I wear a Rolex. And listen, when you come from a neighborhood like I did in Chicago, Illinois, where she came from in Sacramento, California, a Rolex just does fine. And I guess a $3 million watch would hit different. And uh, I remember doing a reaction video, if you check out right here, where um, Floyd Mayweather was, I think it was wearing like an $18 million watch. So it's some sick stuff you can buy. Are you a watch person? How would I know? What's your top three watches? What is your top three watches? Put in the comment section below. How would you rank your top three watches? If you had the money that you would purchase, top three, put in the comment section. Right after Messi scored 91 goals during his record-breaking year, one of Tokyo's most famous jewelers knew Messi's foot was special. So the jeweler wanted to create something unique for Messi that only a multi-millionaire could own. And he flew to Spain just to have Messi design it with no him. No way. Of his foot? A gold foot. Yeah. <laughs> Messi really got an exact replica a of gold? his foot. Not only is In it gold? made out of pure gold, it's signed by the goat himself. Talk about Messi's what? $35 million purchase. That almost man, got if my foot was in that thing, Cristiano man, you've got some Ronaldo. cracked toenails. you got some you know, cross signal. Hey, man, let the gold rovers, fungus be among us. And chargers. <laughs> but once he started making millions, he took things to a whole yeah, new Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking level. about. $150,000 Audi R8s. $200,000 Maserati GT. Nothing. $300,000 Ferrari. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And a $600,000 Mercedes we're really getting somewhere. SLS. That right there is over a million dollars just on cars. And there yet, we go. that can't even compare to his most expensive. Lambo? Recently, Messi bought one of the rarest cars in the world. But it didn't just cost them oh, millions. Bugatti? It's literally illegal. Yeah. Uh, of course. 
Yeah, Messi's really pulling up like this. I don't know what he was thinking when he bought a car that can go 230 miles an hour. Because this Pagani is so fast, just driving it down the street is illegal. <laughs> now, wasting $2 million? Messi doesn't care about that. Those river, mir those river mirrors, though, man. Those river mirrors, I would, I, knowing me, I would hit something. And uh, listen, uh, coming up, I, I grew up with uh, public transportation. Yeah, that, that was my car growing up. It was the CTA or the Pace Bus, a bike maybe. Never had a car growing up. And uh, anyway, we got our first couple exotics. I uh, got a couple of Rolls Royces. But here's the thing about exotic cars, though. They're so finicky, man. Exotic cars are so damn finicky. It's not a pain in the ass, if I, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, what's your dream car? Put it in the comment section below. What is your dream car? Put it in the comment section below. My dream car is, I'm going to step up. I got a Rolls Royce. I had a Rolls Royce Ghost. And now I got a Rolls Royce Dawn. Awesome vehicle. My next step up is a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Coming soon. I'm jacked up about that goal. Coming here shortly. But what's your dream car? I want to put it in the comment section below. Are you a Rolls Royce guy? Are you a Lambo? Are you a Ferrari guy? I was a Lambo guy until I realized I didn't fit in it. Being 6'3", I didn't realize I could fit in a Lambo. I was sitting in this convertible Lamborghini. It was a green one we had in Las Vegas. It took some of our top guys to do it. All of us were over six foot tall. I don't know what the heck we were doing, renting out McLarens and Ferraris and Lamborghinis. But hey, we never had it as kids. So we're going to enjoy it now. We got a little bit of money. It was a sales goal that we all hit. And we're going to have some fun in Vegas. The convertible's up to here, but my forehead was above the uh, the windshield. So I had kind of crunched below to make sure if it kicked up any rocks or any sand or dust or dirt, didn't impact me and knock me out unconscious uh, driving in Las Vegas. But- we took these Lambos and guess what we did? The first place we went to go eat is, you named it, In-N-Out, man, because we ain't too good, especially for driving those Lambos. We ain't too good for no In-N-Out. Our favorite meal to eat when we get into Vegas in California, In-N-Out. I know. Whatever. A million every single week. And that's what led him to buying the most expensive car in his collection. But the $30 million price tag isn't even the crazy $30 million part. for a Messi car? Messi almost got it stolen by Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. See, when Messi heard his dream car was finally up for sale, he immediately hopped on a first-class flight and headed to Paris for the car's auction. But it turned out, Ronaldo knew how badly Messi wanted the car and offered to buy it before Messi landed. Look at that. Since These guys just took knew Messi was on his way, Gotta respect they that game. waited. And right when Messi showed up, he placed a bid that not even Ronaldo could compete with. $35 million for a 1957 Ferrari Spider. Wow. This car, along with all of Messi's other cars, are some of his most prized possessions. And now you'll see why he spent even more money on places to park them. $5 million condos, $10 million mansions, a $44 million castle. Messi's homes cost over $60 million. But first, let's pull up to his Miami condo. I'm wondering, we're going through this right now. Does this inspire you? Or are you like, oh, rich people suck? What's your mind? What's your mindset? What's your mentality when it comes to this stuff? Like, For me, it inspires me, man. Why not? You look at a $40 million house, why not? One year we took our guys to Ohika Castle, the second largest private residence in the entire United States. We had a million dollar retreat out there and tell you this man, a 10,000, 110,000 square feet home, inspiring you, it inspires me. Um, maybe it may inspire you, I don't know, but uh, when you look at these type of things, two things happen. Either you say, yo, man, I can never afford that type of stuff. You shut down, your spirit doesn't enlarge it, it shrinks. But the flip side is you just look at this stuff like, why not? Why not me? I should be able to have this stuff. They own it, how come I can't own it? That stuff enlarges your spirit, it raises your character, raises your intensity. What do you buy into? That's got its own car elevator. When Messi visits Florida, car elevator. he stays here at the Porsche Tower, a place where your car is literally the key. Just scan it, and a car <laughs> elevator carries you into your living room. Come on! Messi's crib came with two bedrooms, five bathrooms, what, your cars in the living room? countertops, its own bar, floor-to-ceiling windows, and just look at the views, man. The city, the beach. No wonder why this place cost Messi $5 million. Yeah. But still, this is Messi's cheapest home. It turns out Messi loves Florida so much, he bought a more expensive place right down the street. But this time, so got two he places. didn't just buy one condo. He bought the entire floor. Josh, look at that, bro. Look at that. Messi's crib at the regalia is on another level. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a thousand bottle so wine cellar, about. a movie theater. This place even comes with a spa, <sighs> hot tub, fitness center, and six pools. I've seen Since some Messi's nice apartment places, takes man, up an entire floor. Damn. He got a little bonus for spending over $7 million. A full 360 degree view of the Miami skyline. Man, that's crazy. Just look at this. That's nuts. Being in a place like Florida. $12 do you think million Messi spent condo? all that money just to look at the water? Nah, he splashed double that to be out there. 
Messi's $14 million yacht is the most expensive boat that any there football player owns. That's, this 92 foot long Mayora 7C yacht has four bedrooms, a VIP room, and can go over 25 miles an hour. No wonder why Messi's family's always spotted on it. This thing's damn near a house on the water. But speaking of houses, Messi's mansions are on a whole other <laughs> level of expensive. And since they're on the other side of the planet, he can't just take his $14 million yacht there. So that's why he spent even more on this. On transport? <laughs> yeah. Private Messi's jets. Messi's $15 million private Ugh. jet is exclusive. On the inside, it has a full kitchen, two bathrooms, there you go. 16 seats, TV. There you go. And on the outside, Messi For a damn made sure you player. know it's his jet. Not only is it personalized to his you, iconic man. number 10, on the steps, it spells out everything important to him. His name, his wife's name, there you go. all of his kids' names, Shh. and Mateo. what the? Subscribe, subscribe! Yeah, even Messi subscribe. So what? Trying to be like Messi. Are you kidding me? Messi watches Seven Figure Squad? I knew it! By the way, if you've been watching so far and you've had a blast along this video, watching this video with me, make sure you subscribe here to Seven Figure Squad, a YouTube channel dedicated to help you think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire and have this type of lifestyle, baby. Let's go! Thank you, Messi, for subscribing. To seven figures, what? Because this crib is so expensive, the president banned planes from flying over it. Yeah, here's Messi's first house. And go. after he bought it for $2 Beautiful million, dollars, he spent another $8 million on renovations just to make sure the place had everything he needed to become a money, man. Stupid Inside, money. Messi's got an entire floor dedicated to his personal gym. It's filled with treadmills, benches, dumbbells, a room for playing basketball, and an entire wall commemorating Muhammad Ali. Even as a view wow. of the mountains when that. he's working out. But on the outside of this house is where things actually get insane. Messi's got an entire football pitch mm. in his backyard. Big ass dog, whenever man. He ain't to be dog one of the best in the world, he can cool off in his pool. Messi's ten million dollar mansion is definitely something special. Wow. But here in 2022, there Messi's go. upgrade That's is route, quadruple Rose Rose the right price. There. Ever since Messi's transfer to PSG, he's needed a place in Paris, and now he finally found his dream home. A $44 million castle filled with 30 rooms, a movie theater, a racquetball room, its own parking garage, and one of the most insane Holy indoor swimming moly. pools in the world. Messi's new crib adds up his house collection to over $66 million. And yet, that's not even in Messi's top Come three on. most expensive purchases. Because Messi bought something so valuable, only billionaires could afford it. Now being an owner of the MIM hotel chain, okay. Messi's helped expand this company all over the globe. His first purchase was a $30 million, 77 room beach hotel. By the way, I'm, I'm fired up, man. We're not even in the top three yet. I'm fired up about this type of stuff. Okay, what's going through my head right now? Okay, you have all these properties, cars, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I, I know it takes on a little bit of stuff. Is it just dead rent? Is it just dead assets? Is it dead dead, you know, just to sit in there when he's not using it. I wonder if he rents this out, if it is it Airbnb. I want to know how this is not just a money drain, but how these things can also not just take money from, but also add money to his pockets. That's what I'm thinking about. Anytime I want to spend money, if even if it's a toy, how do I get this money spent out? How does it find a way to bring a rate of return back to me? It's one thing to market. It's one thing to put it out there, flex, et cetera. But how does this bring me money? So again, for those of you watching this, never confuse somebody's chapter 35 with your chapter one. This guy obviously has had a whole body of work, worked his entire career, his childhood, his teenage years. He's worked in his game, mastered the craft, been a soccer player, marketed himself, became a champion multiple times. The dedication to his sport has led to a lifestyle like this. Some of you guys work hard, but you're not working hard at the right things. So if you find a way in the next year coming up, as you put in your business plan together, you're, you're dreaming, you're, your aspirations, you got to make sure you're working hard at the right things for an extended period of time. My opinion, there's no get rich quick money here. Of course, he made his money through soccer. He made his money through endorsements. He's made money through, through a lot of business partnerships and, and opportunities, but he became good by being a number one soccer player. None of that other stuff matters. Michael George said something very profound in the Last Dance documentary. He says, all this endorsements, all that stuff doesn't matter. It doesn't come your way unless he performs on the basketball court because all the other stuff is supplemental. Whatever you're doing, can you be a champion at that one thing for an extended period of time and then all the other things then 
start With coming into play. With its own rooftop bar and pool. Next, he bought a 52-room hotel in Ibiza with some of the best views there it is, in the hotel. entire Assets country. Assets coming and in. the pool area. Money coming in. Messi Revenue coming in. I just spending underwater out. DJ set. But those are just oh, two of the hot. six hotels that's Messi hot. owned. There you go. He's also got one on the island of Mallorca, another in Costa del Sol, <laughs> and one hotel is right next to the biggest ski resort in all of Spain. Messi's Spanish hotel has 141 rooms. There you go. He's got an asset. He's got a hotel. Including indoor pools, a spa, and a full gym. There you go. It even has a ski lift that takes you to the highest peaks of the mountains. With all of his hotels combined, he spent over $180 million. Okay, mil. And yet, Messi loves his fans so much, he spent even more money just so you can live his life. Recently, Messi made history with one of the most expensive purchases of any athlete ever. The Messi Experience Park. Cool. This $200 million theme cool. park is designed for fans to relive Messi's rise to fame. <laughs> the theme park has over 46,000 square feet of entertainment, including... Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. By the way, congratulations to Michael Jordan. They renamed the NBA MVP award to the Michael Jordan Award. Michael, we need a museum like this for you, man. I can see a bunch of kids here from all over the end up. I was about to say the United States. I can see people from all over the world, kids, adults, reliving their experiences with you, Mike. Like Mike. Everybody want to be like Mike. Well, let them experience what it means to be like Mike, to have a museum like this. Your basketball moments in the middle of a cr the crowd just roaring. You know, fourth quarter, 30 seconds left on the line. Balls in your hand. You got to score a free throw. You're dunking from here. You're shooting from here. We'd love to have a Michael. How many, of you, how many of you would go to a Michael Jordan museum where you can relive this moment just like a lot of people are reliving Messi's type of moments? That'd be freaking awesome. Theaters, holographic technology, and virtual reality. But that's just the beginning. Messi's vision for his park includes hotels, roller coasters, a football pitch, and a bullet train that takes you directly to Shanghai. Messi's the only footballer ever to have his own theme park. And that's why it cost him over $200 million. But let's be real, nothing actually costs more than a life. Except Messi's biggest purchase ever. What, Messi knows what it's like to come from nothing. So he's giving all kids a chance at accomplishing their dreams. For nearly 15 years, he's been funding what's called the Leo Messi Foundation, an organization that provides educational opportunities for kids in poverty. But Messi's foundation isn't just about education, it's about saving lives. So that's why a large portion of his investments go towards medical research in hospitals for kids with terminal illnesses. Messi doesn't just look at kids as fans. He genuinely wants to inspire and help as many people as possible. So right after Messi scored his 644th goal for Barcelona, Messi auctioned off his game-worn cleats for over $100,000 <laughs> and donated all the proceeds to charity. Amen. Messi's been donating money for years. He's even gone as far as sending $300,000 to over 2,000 families in Kenya just so they had access to food and water. That's awesome. He's even teamed up with David Beckham That's to awesome. help rebuild communities that were struck by natural disasters. And most recently, Messi's known how devastating the world got hit by the pandemic. So he gave away nearly $2 million to health centers for COVID relief. Messi doesn't have many football years left and he doesn't want that to be the only thing he's remembered for. So next time you see him out there on the pitch, just know he ain't playing football for himself. He's doing it for you. Cool, man. What are you thinking about, man? That is flipping inspiring. Um, listen, that's the reason why you want to be number one in your chosen endeavor, whether it's your sport, your niche, your business. You want to be number one. You want to be the one that everybody thinks about, that everybody's buying from, that everybody's watching you need to be number freaking one. Why? The more you rise up, the more you elevate, not do you inspire, but the more you can give back. And so oftentimes people think, man, you know, uh, money, money doesn't buy you happiness. I don't know, man. He's making a lot of people happy with his money. It's not just for him. He's flowing it to him, but through him. So it can go outbound to help and serve other people. My opinion, that's what money's supposed to do. That's why it's called currency. It flows to like current, right? Like a river, a current, electricity, current, an electric current. That's what's supposed to be done with money. You're supposed to make a lot of money. Don't let anybody tell you that making money won't make you happy. It solves a lot of problems. It takes care of your mindset, your attitude, it takes care of the basic necessities of you. So therefore you can focus on the bigger things that you are birthed and born to do, which is your purpose, your destiny with a specific dream that God gave to you. That's why you need to make a lot of money. So therefore you can express that once and for all and make a difference in many people's lives, starting with your own. That being said, guys, let me know your thoughts, your questions, your feedback. Please put it in the comment section below. I'm inspired by this one. I'm going to check out Ronaldo's life. Let's take a look at that one here pretty soon. But uh, 
How would you like to see that? Would you like to see my reaction to Ronaldo? What type of life is he living? Put it in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit like. If you watch a couple other videos, hit subscribe, hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.